saints. So glad you're here again. And we would like to apologize for being late. We had some technical difficulties. But we know God is still good and in control. Amen. And we just thank you for joining us once again. And right now we want to enter into his presence and let him have his way in this meeting on this evening. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask right now, Lord Jesus, that you will have your way in this meeting, oh God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just want to recognize who you are, God. Amen. That you are King of kings and that you are Lord of lords, oh God. Yes, you are. And Lord, we just want to bless your holy name, Jesus. Bless you, Lord Lord, Jesus. look down on us right now, oh God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for your love, your grace, Hallelujah. and your mercy. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just want to lift up your holy name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You're so worthy to be lifted up, oh God. Yes, Lord. Lord, you are our hope in times of trouble, oh God. Amen. Yes, you are Lord. our healer, Lord, when we are sick, yes, oh Lord. God. Lord, you provide for us, oh God, when we lack, Lord. Amen. We thank you, oh God, for being everything thank you, that Lord. we need, oh God. Thank you, you Lord. You said you've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread, oh God. And for this, Lord, we bless your holy name, your oh God, name, for Lord. being our provider, Lord Jesus. Amen. We have so much to lift you up, oh God, for. We Amen. have so much to glorify you for, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you're so worthy, oh God. You Even though worthy. things may not go the way we plan, oh God, you still deserve all praise, Lord. Lord. All honor, oh God. We know when the devil get in the midst, oh God. Yes, Lord. It's because you're doing something good for the Lord. Amen. And Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity, thank oh you, God, Lord. to share your word, oh God. We oh, thank hallelujah. you, oh God. God. But those that tune in, Lord, we ask that you bless them, oh God. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we bless you, Lord, you're so you, worthy, Lord oh God. You're so worthy, Lord. You, Lord. You're so Jesus. worthy, Jesus. Think Let your spirit moment, would just rain on us, oh God. Yes, you Let are. it just move on us, oh God. Let it just move, touch, Lord. oh God. In touch the name us, of Jesus, name Lord. Jesus. You anointed, oh God. Yes, Lord. It destroy you, son. And right now, Lord, we need you to yes, show Lord. up, oh God. You. We need your presence, Lord. Lord You're so you worthy, right oh God. We bless in your holy time, name, Lord. oh we God. Need you. We lift you up. You are strong, oh God. Yes, Lord. You are our provider, Lord. Glory you are you, our Lord. king, oh God. Glory we to you, Lord. say yes to your will yes to your and will. yes to your way, and Lord. Your way, Lord. Have not no way, Lord, Hallelujah. in the midst, oh God. Yes, oh God, Lord. do a new thing in our lives, oh yes, God. Lord. In these last and evil days, oh yes, God, Lord. we bless you right now, bless Lord. We name. lift you up, oh God. Yes, we Lord. say yes, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Oh, Thank Hallelujah. you, oh God, for being our strong tower, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. Thank you. You're so worthy, oh God, for protecting us, oh God. Hallelujah. For danger Thank seen you, and unseen, oh God. You've been there with us, oh God. And yes, for you this, have, Lord. we are so grateful, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. So grateful, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord this evening. Lift up his holy name. We lift him up. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord. Yes, You're Lord. worthy, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Oh, we say yes to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. Bless Glory you, to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord. Lord. Glory. We just worship you right now, Jesus. We lift up our hands and we Ooh, just want to bless Lord. you, Lord. And thank you for being the king of our lives. Thank Lord. you, Lord. Being the Lord of our lives. Thank oh, you. Glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. We thank you and we thank each and every one that's tuned in on this evening. Amen. And we just thank you for joining, joyfully sharing the word. Thank you. And if you have not been here before, we ask that you go to our website, yes. www.gp-ministries.org, and on there you will find services that's provided if you need counseling, marriage counseling. Pastor Harper has many years of experience in that. You can contact him there. If you need inspiring words, if you Amen. need an uplifting word, there's testimonies on there. There's encouragement on there. Amen. And we just thank you. And tonight we're going to get started because we know we just started late. That's all right. That's all right. God 
is still good Amen. and worthy to be praised. So we're going to go and start with there's a shaking going on in heaven. See, that's why the devil didn't want us to start on Amen. time. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. 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 Again, welcome tonight, and we're ready to get started. We have a brand new topic of discussion, and this topic of discussion tonight is a fresh word. It came directly yes. from God himself, and yes, God sir. started speaking to me last week about yes, this, Jesus. and I kind of ignored it for a little while, but he would Thank let you. me rest, Thank and I Jesus. realized that God has something to say, there's yes. something he yes, wants Jesus. to do, and that's why we're here tonight. Yes, we Lord. are to Thank lead you. you up with the word of God, yes, Jesus. and tonight we're going to find out what's going on yes, in heaven yes. as well as this world. I'm sure many of you are familiar Thank with the you. Lord's Prayer. If you live any length of time, you've yes, already Jesus. prayed the Lord's Prayer. You learned that from Matthew Hallelujah. 6 and 9. The scripture says, Our Father in heaven, yes. hallowed would be thy holy yes. name. Your kingdom come, yes. and your will be yes. done on earth yes, Jesus. as it is in heaven. The Amen. Bible also says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of yes. heaven. Amen. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Amen. And whatever you loose on earth, yes, Lord. it will be loosed in heaven. That's oh. Matthew 6. 16 and 19. Amen, what this amen, means amen. is we have power. Yes, we do. We have power to affect yes, change yes, in our world yes, today, we but we got to have faith Jesus, in God, faith in God, to see it happen. That's yes, what we got to have. So tonight we're gonna we're gonna look back at one of the, the story of Job tonight. Yes, That's what Jesus. we're gonna be. So get your Bibles out. Yes. Get, get your, your devices Bible, out. Devices. We're gonna be in the amen. book of Job, and we're gonna look at this story, yes, Lord. and we're gonna try to get an idea of how to change the outcome. Yes of our world today and, and the idea is to use the story of Job yes, as a model for every believer Amen. today. I believe we can go to the Bible and find everything we need. Yes, Lord. Now before the pandemic struck, that's what we're going to talk about. Now, right, before now. the pandemic Amen. struck, America was largely a nation of believers. Yes, that's what we were. Yes, yes. In fact, America was founded on the slogan, yes. in, God, in God, we trust. Yes. And we had thousands of Christian churches across Amen. the nation. And our, our churches were, by and large, yes, still on Sundays. We were in church every Sunday yes, we having church services. And yes. America had more than 15, I had to look this up, yes. more than 1,500 mega churches. And that right means now. a church that has at least 2,000 seats. Yes. And then we had some yes. large enough mm -hmm. to hold 16,000 people yes, at one Lord. time. So yes, we believed in God and, mm -hmm. and we were his people. But then the pandemic hit the pandemic. and the nation just shut down. Amen. I mean, thousands of jobs Amen. and businesses and livelihoods were lost. And over 700,000 lives have been lost to this virus and and even now even then even the the vaulted yes. church the Amen. once vaulted church shut down mm, and my God. i mean you know we I, I really miss having easter service and all these services we didn't have in 2020 mm, the God. church itself shut down but here's the question mm -hmm. how did a nation of believers end up in the state we are in today my God. how did a nation of believers and more importantly how do we recover everything that's happened to us? How, how do we get around that thing? And, and that's where this topic tonight comes in. This discussion comes into play because I don't think this is the first time actions in heaven have played out on earth. I don't think this is the first time. And in fact, that's why we're in the book of Job. So open, the, open your Bibles to Job, the book of Job. And we're going to just start reading at verse number one. And so in the book of Job, Job we learn of a man who was blameless. Mm -hmm. And upright, and Amen. he feared God and shunned evil. Amen. He had seven sons and three daughters, and he owned 7,000 mm. sheep and 3,000 camels yep. and 500 yoke mm. of oxen and mm. 500 donkeys mm. and had as much land and service yes, as anyone yes. else. He was Amen. the greatest man yes, he was. in this time. And, and so we see that Job is like many of us today. Amen. You know, we love God. Yes. And we honor God and, yes. and, and everything that we do while we live. And, and we set aside time to worship him Amen. on Sundays. And, yes, and we even fast and pay, pray, and pray from time Amen. to time, you know, on a semi-regular basis. But just like Job, Amen. I believe something happened in heaven happened. that forever changed our world and the lives we have today. So look at what happened in heaven starting in verse number six. I want mm. you to see this. On the day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? 
Mm. Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth mm. in it. Then the Lord said to Satan, mm. have you considered my mm. servant Job? Mm. There's no one like him. Amen. He is blameless mm. and upright, mm. a man who fears God Amen. and shuns him. This is what God is telling Satan. Amen. Now, does Job fear God for nothing? Mm. Satan replied. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? Have you mm. blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout mm. the land? But now stretch out your hand yes. and strike everything that he has, yes. and he will surely, surely. Curse, you curse you to your face. Now I want you to look at this now. The Lord said to Satan, very well then, mm -hmm. everything he has mm -hmm. is in your power. Mm. But on the man himself, Amen. do not lay a finger. Sure, then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. This is verses 6 through 12. Yes. Now, we just, we, we, we're going straight in the Bible. I, I'm not making up anything today. I, I'm not prophesying. I'm just using the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this story to make this case. And Amen. So in verse 13, guess what? Things took a terrible turn for the mm, worse in Jonah. If it wasn't bad enough, things take a terrible turn for the terrible. worse of Brother Job. Amen. Now, one day, when Job's son and daughters were feasting and drinking mm, wine mm. at the oldest brother's house, mm. a messenger came to Job mm. and said, The oxen mm. were plowing and the donkeys were mm. grazing nearby and the Sabines attacked mm. and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword. Mm. That's what he said. And, mm. and I'm the only one mm. who escaped to tell like you. And while, and while he was speaking, mm. yet another messenger came and said, The five God fell mm. from heaven mm. and burned up the sheep mm. and the servants. Like and I am the only one mm -hmm. escaped to tell you. This is verses 13 through yes, 16. Yes. Then in verse 17 and 18, things get even worse mm. as the news just keeps building up. And, and while the circumstances of our dilemma, they are debatable. Mm. I, I'm not going to try to tell you why we have the, the virus. And that, that's debatable. Mm. I, you, you, I'm going to leave it up to you. But, mm. but the story of Job mm. is not debatable. Mm. Through no fault of his own, mm. Job lost everything. Yes. And for whatever reason, there was a shaking mm. going on in heaven. Amen. And tonight, I want to share with you a few lessons we have to learn mm. in tough times. Amen. Now, the first thing is we've got to learn how to maintain faithfulness mm. in tough times. Mm. We've got to learn how to remain faithful yes. in tough times. Listen, whether you know it or not, mm. the world we're living in has frequently mm -hmm. been misled by the evil one. Mm. The Apostle Paul says it like this, and even if our gospel is veiled, yes. It is veiled to those yes. who are perishing. Yes. The God of this age, that's mm. what I mean by we're blinded. The God of this age yes. has blinded yes, has. the minds of unbelievers. Yes, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that. Mm -hmm. that displays the glory of Christ, mm, who is the Lord. image yes. of God. That, that's Second that Corinthians 4, yes, verses yes. 3 and 4. Amen. So all over this country, believers and non-believers alike have been blinded. Yes. Yes. by this pandemic and, yes. and now we're in a, a tug of war mm -hmm. and trying to figure out who's right, who's right. and who's, who's, wrong. who's and, wrong and we can't even agree on how to move forward mm -hmm. and instead we spend all our time in disagreement mm -hmm. over vaccine mandates mm -hmm. that's what we do yeah. and yeah. if the president or governor has the last word that's yeah. what we, we spend our time arguing yeah. about yeah. these things and, yeah. and all the while all believers the like me and you we should be praying we ought to be praying. Yes. We are caught up in the middle. Yes. And then we are being tested. I yes, want you to yes, know this. Yes. We are being tested. And not so much by God. Because mm -hmm. people are quick mm -hmm. to blame God for it. Not, no, we may not be being tested by God, but by an enemy who opposes God. I want you to get this. Mm -hmm. Let me share this with you. Amen. The devil himself, he would never mm -hmm. test God. Mm -hmm. Or he would never confront him mm -hmm. directly. Because he already knows. Mm -hmm that he would lose that fight. Mm. So guess what he does? Mm -hmm. He goes for the next best mm. thing. Mm. And that's me and you, Amen. believers in Christ. Mm. And, and, and so although God did not put this plague on us, mm -hmm. I love his word in Romans 8 and 28 that says, all things, mm -hmm. all things mm -hmm. work together Amen. 
for the for the good of those who yes, love yes, God. Yes, Can you yes, say amen? amen? I mean, he didn't put us on it, but he know how to use this yes, thing. Yes. And despite of what's going on, I believe God can yes. use this yes. to draw us mm. closer to him. Amen. But we got to keep our eyes on, on eyes. the old devil. We got yes. to keep our eyes on the old devil. Right. What you call him? Slewfoot. Slewfoot. We got to keep our eyes Slewfoot. on the old devil because mm. he's trying to trick us. Amen. He's counting on the church to Amen. fall Amen. or to fail the test. Yes. The same way he thought Job yes. was going to fail Amen. this test. And he's counting on us to separate yes. Yes. and to divide. Amen. Instead of praying yes. this virus away. Yes. And, and I believe in an old song, that old saying that more prayer, mm. more power. More I believe power. that. But you know, I just haven't seen mm -hmm. enough of our prominent spiritual leaders yeah. calling Ooh, for a man. unified prayer. I, I may have missed it. I watch a little bit of TV. I, I, I watch TV and I may have missed it, but I have not mm -hmm. seen a lot of spiritual leaders said, listen, mm. we need a nationwide mm. prayer period. Mm. And, and I haven't heard enough church leaders mm. appealing I'm for not. a nationwide thing. Amen. Amen. I just, I, I may not miss it, but I haven't seen that. <laughs> and I believe it's important because Amen. when it comes to rooting out this kind of evil, yes. Yes. when it comes to rooting out something like this virus, Amen. Jesus said it like this. Mm. This kind mm. can only come out by yes, what? Lord. Prayer. Yeah. And fasting. I mean, that's Mark 9, 29. Jesus said, these tough things, yeah. it's going to take prayer. It, it's yeah. going to take more prayer. More it, it's going to take more, more fasting, glory to God. Yes, we, Lord. We've got to learn. And above all, it's going to take mm. faith in God. Mm. And I think if you want to see this thing turn around, mm. you've got to trust God even in the difficult time. Mm. Another lesson we can learn mm. from this story by Job is this. Mm. We've got to learn how to honor God yes. in tough times. Yes. Right now, we're having tough times. See, mm. It's easy to raise your mm. hands and shout when everything is well. Yes. It's easy to give God glory when your refrigerator is yes. full, Amen. when all your bills are paid. It's easy Amen. then when there's Amen. no sickness in your body yes. or in your family. But we're talking about tough times. Yes. We're talking about what we're going through today. Yes. So now look with me now in verse 21 and Amen. 22. Amen. And watch what Job does mm. when his life falls apart. Amen. Then verse 21 it says, at this, Job got up, yeah. tore off his robe, mm -hmm. and shaved his head. Mm. Then he fell to the ground in worship. I want you to underline yeah. that word, worship. Yeah. worship. He fell to the ground in worship and yes, said, naked, I came from my mother's womb, yes, he did. and naked, I will depart. Yes, he did. The Lord gave Yes, he did. And the Lord Hallelujah. has taken away. Take it away. May the name of the Lord yes. be praised Amen. in all of this. Verse 23 says, Amen. 22 says, in all of this, all of Job this. did not sin by mm -hmm. charging God mm -hmm. with wrongdoing. I need mm -hmm. you to get this thing mm -hmm. now. He was in a tough time. Yes, he was. And he lost everything. Yes, he, he could have fell on his knees and yes, cursed God. Mm -hmm. But the scripture says yes. he fell on his knees mm -hmm. in worship. In worship. Now, Job is at a turning point. Yes, Lord. He's like us today. He's, he's at a turning point, yes. and he has to make a decision. Yes. Will I continue to serve the Lord mm. despite this evil mm. that has come upon me? Watch yeah. this now. Although Job was never mm. told why he was suffering mm. or why he was going through so much mm. pain and loss in his life, he humbly mm -hmm. submitted to God's Amen. authority. This is key right here. This is an incredible, incredible mm. example mm. for us to follow today. Can you say amen? amen. And, and in the midst of our current calamity, we must submit to yes. God's authority yes. too. We got to do the same thing. Amen. And here's the reason why. Because even in pain, mm -hmm. suffering, and agony, mm -hmm. God is still worthy of mm -hmm. our praise. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And, and yes. God is still good to us. Yes. And he will sustain us through yes. it all. Yes. But we got to keep on worshiping yes. him. Yes. We got to keep giving him what? Honor. Amen. You see, it doesn't matter who caused the pandemic. Yeah. Let, let me just settle this right Amen. now. It don't matter who caused it. Whether, whether, whether it was Satan or man, it just don't matter. Mm. What matters the most is believers humbly submitting yeah. themselves to yeah. God. Yeah. 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 You have to learn how to submit yeah. yourself. And, and I like the way Jude put it. The book mm. of Jude, Jude yeah. 24 and 25 yeah. says this. Now unto him yeah. who is able. Yeah. To keep us from falling yes. and, and to present you faultless before yes. the presence of the glory Amen. with exceeding joy. With exceeding joy. To the only Hallelujah. wise God, yes, Lord. our Savior, yes, Lord. be glory and glory. majesty, dominion, yes. yes. and power yes. both now and forever. Yes, 
never. Amen. Make no mistake about it. Yes, Says Lord. God yes. may allow some things yes. to happen. Amen. See, he may allow like he did with Job. Yes. He allowed that yes. to happen. He but he always makes a way up and escape. Yes, Glory does. to God. Amen. And Amen. although we're down right now, yes. I choose to believe that God, yes, he's does. up to something. That's yes, what I believe. Can you yes, say amen? amen? I believe there's a yes, shaking in is. heaven going on. Yes, there is. But God is still in control. Yes, I is. know it's shaking right now, but God yes, is still in control. Is. I believe God he's is trying to bring God. us he back to him. I think even in this pandemic, he's trying to bring yes, us Lord. back to him. I believe he's trying to get us to yes. return to our first love. Yes, 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 That's yes. what the Bible says. You've got to go back to your yes, first amen. love. And, yes, and we're yes. in a battle for our lives. Make no mistake Jesus. about it. And, and for our livelihoods yes, and Lord. even for our very souls. Yes, so it's Jesus. up to us to remain faithful Ooh, to God. Yes, Lord. Because guess what? God is always God. faithful. Yes, and is. when Ooh. and you, we have to do like Ooh. First Peter says. Ooh. First Peter 5 to 6 it says, humble yourself yes, Lord. under God's mighty yes. hand yes, Lord. that he may lift you up in due time. How many know this won't last forever? Oh, how many know God's going to turn this thing turn around? around. But right. we got to learn how to stand yes. still Amen. and see the salvation. See we got to learn how to just trust yes. God and honor God even in, even in tough times. Tough time. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Amen. Amen. Right now and give Amen. God some praise glory. For his <laughs> word. Hallelujah. Give him some Amen. glory for his word. Thank you, Jesus, for the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Hopper, for the word. Amen. We must trust God. And we thank God for laying this on Pastor Hopper. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, there's a shaking <laughs> going on. Something Let going it. on. Amen. <laughs> With the natural eyes, we cannot imagine what is going on in heaven uh -huh. and why. But sometimes in scriptures, we get a small glimpse. Uh -huh. One such glimpse is in the story of Job. Yes, it is. Chapter 1, verse 7, 8. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come oh. from? Satan answered the Lord. <laughs> From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Uh -huh. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Oh, Lord. See, the Lord knew that Satan was up to no good, <laughs> so he just went on and just confronted him. Have you considered my servant Job? Uh -huh. There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. Uh -huh. But why would God offer Job? Mm. An upright person, one who loved God so much that he shunned evil. We will get back to that <laughs> question later. But in the meantime, I had this question. I said, how on earth is Satan standing before God? Mm. And I had to do some searching because it kind of just <laughs> got to me. Well, guess what, y'all? This is good. All angelic beings, good and evil, are compelled to present themselves before God. Ah. Verse 6 says it already. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also with them. Uh -huh. They're compelled. Why? Because God is king, and he sits on the throne. Amen. And his heavenly council, where God and his angels plan their activities on earth. It's a shaking going on. Yes, And it we is. are involved in it. And where angels are required to give account of themselves. Yes. First King 22, 19 said, and he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. Yes, he And was. all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. God knew the intent of Satan already. Uh-huh. But God is all knowing and all seeing. We know that. And not Satan. Only God. Yep, no he good. knew Satan had Job on his mind. Uh -huh. He was seeking someone. That is why he said, he said, have you considered my servant Job? So he allowed Satan to attack Job. Mm. But God already knew that Job would not curse God and die. Uh -huh. As Pastor Harper pointed out. <laughs> but guess who didn't know? Satan didn't know. Mm. That's why he attacks us. Because he doesn't know. He thinks that he's going to get the best of us. But we know whom we live, who we love, and we know in whom, whom we serve. We serve. Uh -huh. Verse 12 says, the Lord said to Satan, very well then. Everything Job has is your power, is in your power. 
but on Job himself, do not lay a finger. Uh, don't touch it. Listen who is in control. <laughs> you see God what I'm saying? Control. God is in control in everything in our lives. Satan is not running anything. Saints, y'all hold on to that. <laughs> Satan ain't running anything. He tries to hinder God's work in us, but he is limited by God's power within us. Yes, Luke 22, 31 and 32 says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has huh. desired to have you, but he may sit you as we, but that he may sit you as we. Lord. But I have prayed Lord, for thee thank you, Lord. that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. The Lord is always interceding Amen. for us. In this pandemic, many people are wondering, is God in control? We are still in this. Is he really on the throne? Is he really allowing these things to take place? Uh -huh. The answer is yes. He's in control. Yes, he so, is. So, yes, he is. Well, let's take another look at Job's life. Job, yes, he was a righteous man, blameless and upright. He feared, reverenced God, and shunned evil. Job had everything a man could desire. Mm -hmm. So much wealth that it is unimaginable. And Satan knew this. That is why he said, does Job feel God for, for nothing? Satan replied, <laughs> have you not put a hedge around him All right. and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hand so that his flocks and his herds are spread throughout the land. But now scratch out your hand and strike everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face. Uh -huh. There's a shaking going on in heaven. Yes, it Satan is. is always <laughs> up to something. If Job, a righteous man, a spiritual man, a man who gave sacrifices, had a repentant heart, reverence God, was tested and tried. Yes. Let's go back to that question. Why? Why? Why did this happen to him? Why was he Why tested Job? and tried? Since there was an opening in Job's <laughs> life that Satan saw. And that was fear. And I'm going to take you to chapter 3, verse 25 and 26, when Job was just crying out. Mm. And he said, what I feared has come upon me. Oh, my. What I dreaded has happened to me. Mm. See, when Satan sees an opening, he can go and approach God about go that. Go right in. And God can say yes or no because God is in control. It was not about how many burnt offerings or sacrifices he made, he made unto God for himself and children or how many times he prayed to God. Uh -huh. God wanted Job to trust him. God allowed what happened to Job so that Job could see what he was made out. See, Job had to look inward. God knew, but Job had to find out. Yes. Yes, Job lost everything, but he never cursed God. He never blamed God. Uh -huh. He knew God was good, <laughs> and he knew God was merciful. But he did want to understand why. And Joe actually wanted to ask God and would question God, why is this happening? What happened? Well, God enlightened <laughs> Joe in chapter 38, verse 1. You know, sometimes we do that. When we're going through, we want to know why, what's going on. Help me, Lord, to understand. Chapter 38, verse 1, with Share, but read, when you have a chance, what I'm trying to say, read chapter verse 38. It is good, the chapter, the whole chapter, but I'm going to read a certain verse. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm. He said, who is this that obscures my plan uh. with words without knowledge? Basically, who are you, Job, to question me? Brace yourself like a man. <laughs> I will question you. And you will answer me. Stand still. Remember, saints, difficult times like this pandemic, we too must humble, humbly remember our position before the eternal, holy, incomprehensible God. Mm -hmm. He can't go to God any kind of way because of what we're facing. He knows what he's doing. God knows what we need to see ourselves and find out what we need and increase in. Yes, he does. That's why Job went through what he did. There's always something that we need to improve in. Whether it's faith, joy, peace, love, forgiveness, kindness, he knows what he's doing. Yes. And guess what? He will put no more on Thank us you, Lord than Jesus. we can bear. Amen. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 4 said, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, 
Whenever you face trials of many kinds, yes. because you know that the testing of your faith Preach. produces perseverance. Uh -huh. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, yes. not lacking anything, anything in God. Surely, surely, America, sooner or later, we <laughs> had to face something yes. to find out what we are made of. Yes. Will they give up and stop praying? Or uh -huh. continue trusting God. Yes. Will they let fear control them in this pandemic? Or trust God? Will they? <laughs> if Satan's eyes was on Job, surely, surely he has gone to God about a miracle. Oh, my, my, my. And said, surely going to turn your back on me if you take that protection away. That hedge America never thought <laughs> that we would be touched with such a pandemic. I like this. We never, we thought maybe in the third world countries, you uh -huh. know, yeah, that happens over there. So I believe in my mind, Satan approached God and said, hmm. you got a hedge of protection over there. Surely they're going to curse you when you Let's see what they made it. up. Yes, right. Let's see what, you see, there is a shaking going on in heaven yes. all the time. That is what I feel in my spirit, the reason America is where we are today. Satan has been approaching God, shaking things up in heaven about yes, America he for a long time. Approaching God saying, what about how you have blessed mm. America with so much wealth and security? Is that why they serve you? <laughs> yes. That's a good they question, go to man. church every Sunday. Is it because they love you? Is it because they want a closer walk with you? Why is it? Or is it a social gathering they are looking forward to? Ooh, ouch. So God allowed <laughs> Satan to strike America, and I believe with That's, this pandemic, kill out because he's in control, y'all. He's still on the throne. It's tough, but it's right. In this pandemic, in this pandemic, we will continue. Oh, Satan. In this pandemic, mm -hmm. will we continue to worship him? Continue to pray, That's the question, continue man. to give offerings. Will they trust me and see me if you remove that hedge mm. from around them? Are they going to humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, seek my face? That's the word there. Or will they get caught up in what the world is saying? Uh huh. Oh, yes, there's a shaking going on in heaven. God removed that hedge from America, y'all. For a reason. I believe it did. It's time my people see what they are made out of. We've been so spoiled. We can just get anything we want. But when the church is closed, ah. business is closed, we couldn't go out to restaurants and sit down and enjoy ourselves. We couldn't have entertainment. We couldn't meet with people and couldn't enjoy do. each other's company. <laughs> Businesses, people lost their jobs. Things changed. Things made a drastic change. And I believe in my heart, this pandemic is not for the unbelievers, but it's mm. for the believers. Glory, it's a shaking glory. going on in heaven, y'all. You said something, man. Job was a believer, and God still mm. shook him. Oh, you teaching that, man. God still shook him. I like that. It's a shaking going on in heaven, and it's for the believers. Mm. Job found out what he was made out of, uh -huh. and in chapter 42, verse 1 and 5, it says, then Job replied to the Lord, uh, I know that you can do all things. Yes. No purpose of yours can be thoughtful. You ask, who is this that obscures my plans without knowledge? Mm. Surely I spoke of these things I did not understand. <laughs> this is Dave, this is Job coming He's to him. Over his head. We he gotta come that. to ourselves, y'all, yeah. in this pandemic. Things too wonderful for me to know. Yes. You said, listen now, and I will speak. I will question you, uh -huh. and you should answer me. My ears had heard of you, God, mm. but now my eyes have seen you. I've seen. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. That's it right there. What, why does America think we're not supposed to go That's through it right anything? There. Why do we feel like we shouldn't be touched? Look at Job, he came to himself. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I despise my, you know what, Lord, I'm looking in, but I despise this sin in me. Yeah, I needed some chastisement. America needed chastisement. Yes. Because we need to repent. Job, repent in dust and ashes. Mm. God is shaking us up so that we can see that we need him and we need to turn oh, ourselves back to him. God blessed Job after this 
and gave him twice mm. as much as he had mm. before. Yeah. God wants us to come to ourselves, repent, and he will do the same for us. Yes, he will. He will restore. He will increase. He will bless. He's waiting on the believers. I pray that America come to itself uh -huh. and turn back to God. <laughs> But first, God is working on us. Yes, he is. Satan thinks he's winning because he is not all-knowing. But already God knows who will turn back to yes, him. Yes, he does. God knows. He knows who's going to be faithful. He knows who's going <laughs> to repent. It's for us to see. It's for us to know. It's for us to get it right. Who will draw closer to him? Yes. Who will seek him more? How many of us will say, though I lose everything, uh, though I may get sick, ooh, yeah. though friends may turn their backs on me, though the church doors may stay closed, mm. though some will never change, though evil is on the rise, yeah. though my body may wreck with pain, pain mm. this pandemic is only a trial, only awakening, and if I trust God yeah. and let not fear, Consume me because fear yeah. in the unbelievers does not please God. It don't he move can't together. move, he can't turn away, turn things around with the spirit of fear. God will give me the strength to endure uh -huh. and fulfill the plans he has for me. Yes. Jeremiah 29 Whoa, that's the 11 word. 14 that's the word. says, <laughs> Oh, I know the plans I have for you. Uh -huh. Declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, Thank you and not to harm you. Thank you. All of this is not to harm us. He's got a plan, and we got to ask him, Lord, look at me. Search me. Let me see what you want me to do. Uh -huh. Plans to give you hope and a future. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Yes. You seek me. And find me when you seek me <laughs> with all your, your heart. heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. Yes. That's all God is doing. He's shaking in heaven. He's shaking things yes, up. Yes, he is. And what he shakes, what happens in heaven affects us. Yes, it does. Satan, right before God, questioning God about America, guess what? It's shaking the earth. Yes, it, it comes is. down to the earth. So just ask God, Lord. What must I do to turn things yes, around? Lord. What am I lacking? What do I need from you? Because, Lord, it's all about you. Yes. And I want to please you and you alone. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, and I pray that you got something out of this lesson. Yes, Lord. Because God is still on the throne. Yes, he and is. I just love to know the fact that God is in control. Still in control. God ain't never not <laughs> been in control. He, in fact, Satan got to go to God and say, can I uh -huh. touch this he one? Got to ask permission. Can I touch that one? And even though he goes in the presence of God, guess what? It ain't for long. It's only temporary because it said he had to go. Yeah. He left. But God is letting Satan know. See, that's where he's a liar. People don't realize that Satan got an answer to God. Uh. And that's how he gets God's people all caught up and consumed with fear. Know this. God. Is still on the throne. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank Glory you, Lord, for God. this word. We just believe. Yes, Lord. We pray yes, that Jesus. this word has encouraged yes, you. Lord. There's so much Amen. going on, and you need not yes. be fearful. No. Just no. be faithful. Be faithful. Don't worry about these different things. Yes, just learn how to trust God. Trust Him. Because God is still on he's the throne. He's on the throne, Amen. And He's Amen. still in charge. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank nothing. you for the word tonight, Amen. Father God. We pray that this Amen. word, as it moves yes, out from Jesus. this place, Ooh. it will find fertile ground, Father yes, God. Lord. It will touch hearts and change minds, yes, and people's eyes will be open. Yes, so God. Because the enemy has tried to blind us. Oh, he got God. us he focusing tried. on the yes, wrong thing. Ooh. But we know you are the answer. Yes, you're the answer you are the only way the only that way. we're going to get out of this thing. My Thank God. you, Father God, for the word. Thank you for, Thank the you word. for using us, Father yes, God, Jesus. speaking through us, Father. Yes, Lord. And we pray that our listeners. Yes, Jesus. They have received the word Amen. tonight. 
We pray that our listeners yes, now Lord. know how to react yes. and how what they're supposed to do yes, if they want to see you turn yes, this Jesus. thing around. Give us double for our trouble, yes, Lord. Lord. I know yes, you can do it, Hallelujah. Father God. I know you hear this prayer yes, because your word says while we yet pray, yeah. yes. the thing we're praying about is already yes, being Lord. done. We call those yes, things to be Jesus. not as though they've already happened. Jesus. We believe you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you're able to do yes, it. Now, Father Jesus. God, we reach out to yes. someone that's hearing yes. this broadcast, Father yes, God. Lord. Someone that may not know yes, your Jesus. son, Jesus not Christ, not in the pardon of their Lord. sins. They may not yes, know what it Jesus. means to be born again. Jesus. They don't know what we're talking Jesus. about. We say you've got to be oh, saved. So we just pray Touch that your spirit, Father Lord. God, is touching them right oh, now. Hallelujah. Talk to them right Touch now. Let them know, Father God, they need a Savior. They need someone to come into their life. Someone that can give their life for yes, him, Father. Jesus. We just pray now pray that they now. know the word, Father God. Hallelujah. We speak that word what you said. If they confess with their oh, mouth God. and in believe the in their Jesus. heart that Jesus yes, Christ Lord. is Lord. Hallelujah. He's the Son of God. Hallelujah. And that he died and was raised Hallelujah. again. The Bible says they shall Jesus. be saved. So we Jesus. pray that you would receive Ooh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, we pray that you would speak it through speak your mind Lord, that you believe Jesus. what you have heard. Yes, and when you do that, the Bible says you just got saved. You now born again. And now you can start to walk along with the rest of us. You can spend your time studying the word. You can spend your time in prayer. You can spend your time giving to God praise and worship. You can do like the rest of God's people. Trust him in everything. Everything that's going on, you are now saved. Jesus. And you are now in the family of God yes. Almighty. Give God Hallelujah. glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, Lord. Glory to your glory name, Lord. Glory to your Lord. name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, right Thank now, Thank you, Lord. Look on our listeners right yes, now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Do it, Lord. I pray right now, Lord, that you will move on Just their cover lives, now. Oh God. I pray right now, Jesus, yes, Lord. that you will raise up men and women Thank you, Lord. that are after your heart. Oh, God, hallelujah. They want to be a part, oh God, yes, Lord. of what's going on, Jesus. But there's a shaking, Lord, yes, it is, that's Lord. going on in heaven, Lord. Oh. And you are in control, Lord. Shake us, Lord. I pray right now yes, that Lord. you move, oh God, on yes, Lord. your people, Lord. Hallelujah. The believers, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Shake them up, oh God. Yes, Stir Lord. Stir them up in their spirit, Stir Lord. us up, Lord. Wake them up, oh God. God. Yes, Lord. Speak to them, Lord. Speak in to the him. midnight hours, Jesus. Yes, give Lord. them dreams yes, Lord. and give them visions, Lord. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Wake us up, oh God. Shake us away, Oh Lord. my God. We need yes, oh God, Lord. to wake up and yes, see, Lord. Lord, what you're doing, oh God. You're doing the thing. My people who are called by my name yes, yes, would humble themselves yes, and pray. Turn from their wicked ways and seek my faith. Yes, Lord. Then I will hear from heaven yes, and Lord. I will heal their land. You life. see, oh God. Take it you away, Lord. See, Lord. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Do a new thing, Lord. Yes, Do Lord. a new thing, Jesus. Do it now. Oh my God. Yes, bless Lord. your people. Bless those bless us, listening. Lord. Heal your people. Heal them, Deliver Lord. your people. Deliver Give them, them peace, Lord. oh God. Yes. Give them joy, In Lord. The name of Jesus. Deliver, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of peace, Jesus. oh God, in, of in every area, yes, Lord. you see and you know it, what they need to increase yes, in, oh God, do it right now, yes, Lord. Lord, in the name of in Jesus, name of bless Jesus. them, oh God, yes, Lord. you love them, Lord, we Hallelujah. know you love Thank us, Lord. Jesus, there's no doubt in our mind, Thank you, Lord. the love that you have for us, oh God, Thank you, Lord, and we Jesus. thank you, Lord, for your love, oh Thank God, you, Lord. we want to please you, Lord, yes, Lord. for your love is so God, we want to do right, oh God, because yes, you love us, Lord, love Lord. you send your only Hallelujah. son to die on the cross, because you love us, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your thank love, you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we want to please you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, hallelujah. Cover us with your blood. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bleed the blood of Jesus. And, Lord, we rest assured. Yes, Lord. That you are in control. Yes, Lord. And anything that happens. Yes, Lord. Is because you allowed it, oh, God. Because something needs to change inside Shake of us, Lord. oh, God. Shake us, wake us. And make us, Lord, yes, Lord, into the servant that you want us to be oh, do it, in Lord. these last and evil days. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Yes, Lord, we thank we you. We thank you for viewing us, for joining us, yes. for loving on us, 
Uh -huh. We just thank you. And we count it worthy. Yes. We don't count it worthy that you even want to just tune in uh -huh. to us. For we're just trying to be used by God. Yes. And we want to bless you and we continue to let heaven smile upon you. Amen. Throughout this week. Uh huh. And that God will bless you mightily. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen again. God bless you. Amen.